man I been in that mode grinding, they think that I fell off I been on the road trying to get these pounds of gal Exotic money pilot, run a car, run up the mileage How the fuck a real street nigga like you have with the collar Cause I'm silent and too silent, load on me, I can't pull over Sticky. What's going on guys, welcome back to another episode of GGS Gaming RP It's your boy Gizio, bringing you yet another banger As always, but no, uh, today's video is going to be a little different today uh, We are going to be doing a little tutorial Showing you guys how to get car sounds into your car. Um, a lot of people always ask me in the comments on Discord, you know, how do you get your cars to sound like actual cars in real life? I mean, that's the whole purpose of role play, right? You want to take real life things and put it in the game and make it sound real or feel real or look real or whatever. Um, so that's what today's video is going to be. If you're looking for a whitelist community to join, uh, join whitelist, uh, whitelist, join New Heights Roleplay down below in the description. All that information will be right there. All right. So first thing I want to do is uh, just let you guys hear what I'm talking about. Uh, so this here is first off a um, a elephant, Grand Cherokee elephant, supercharged. Uh, shout out to my man's. Um, Mike's Mike's uh, Mike's customs for whipping this thing up. This thing is fire right here. I have the link down in the description. These are premium cars, so you will have to buy it. But um, he does a great job. So why not tip him for his good work, man? This is amazing. But uh, so first thing I'm going to do is hopefully you guys can't hear that. Um, those gunshots and stuff in the background. Also have a gun mod in the back. Drop a comment down below if you want to uh, learn how to add uh, better gun sounds and stuff into your uh, into your 5M server. But. This right here is what the Jeep sounds like, um, and I'm actually going to hop back out and hop in, and I'm going to shut the hell up so you guys can hear what I'm talking about, but uh, just watch. You hear that crunch, that yeah, yeah. That's what that bi that's what that bad boy can sound like, uh, and I'm just gonna drive around a little bit so you can hear it some more. Ooh wee! It's that supercharged engine. Yeah, but uh. But yeah, without further ado, let's hop into the video and show you how to get this thing rolling. Um, because a lot of premium cars like this don't come with sound. They just simply have no sound at all. And uh, with me being the car dealer in my community, which again, you should join down below. Um, you know, you're trying to sell cars and stuff to your people in the server and you can't because it has no sound. Um, and I just tell people it's an electric car, you know, it's just a little silent just like that you know it makes nothing at all but uh but yeah let's hop into this video and uh check out how to get this nice sound in your 5m community let's get into it yeah, yeah. so first thing you want to do is go to google or you know whatever uh search engine you use to find stuff and type in something like 5m realistic car sounds mod or something like that as you can see i type this in a lot um and then after that you're going to click you know something that you know seems appealing to you by the headline headlines are big uh click the first thing maybe that you see uh aquaphobic is a really good uh modder for sounds and stuff i actually have a few of their sounds in my server shout out to them him her them they However they go, uh, shout out to them because they make some really good sounds. I actually already have the sound that I'm going to use because this is the sound that I already have in my server. And I don't want to go through the whole process of, uh, I mean, I've already proven to you guys that it works. Um, and just to prove to you guys that this is this is the sound that I use for my Hellcats, uh, my Scat Packs, all of my power crunching cars to give them that like hard crunch noise when you cut the engine on when you're driving um, you know, in that super loud, realistic, uh, you know, real life to 5M sound. Um, and so just so you guys can tell that this is the real engine sound, and I'll prove it again later in the files, but just listen to the sound and match it up. Sounds just like mine, right? Ooh, 
wee. I love that backfire. That ooh wee. By the way, I love Jake Brakes on uh, 18 Wheelers as well. But that's neither here nor there. But anyway, what you're going to do is uh, once you find the sound that you like, and the, another thing that I like about aquaphobic sounds and stuff, you can go to any of these uh, you know, sounds that he's made, and he has like these videos to where you can actually hear it before you actually download it so you're not – you know, waste your time downloading things and, you know, what so what on and so forth, whatever I'm talking about, I don't know. Uh, that's also what you want to look for whenever you're looking for your files or sounds or any type of resource. Make sure it's 5M ready. And you can always, if it's not up here in the thing, uh, you can always check down here in the descriptions and stuff, a 5M server build, you know, that supports the Los Santos tuners assets for 5M, something along those lines. Um, it's usually pretty blatant. All right, so... Once you've uh, found the sound that you want, you're going to want to download it. And from there, you're going to download it, you know, download your file again. It's going to pop up down here. I've already downloaded it once before because uh, I keep messing up this video. <laughs> uh, but no, so what you're going to want to do is once this downloaded, you're going to want to uh, have WinRAR. So as you can see, this little file right here dancing around WinRAR. WinRAR is a paid uh, application, but it's also free. So don't be alarmed if you get like a, you know, pay for the, this thing, you know, just skip all that stuff. It'll allow you to open it up for free. Um, and you'll see what I'm saying here in a bit because it's probably going to prompt me to pay for something, which is totally fine. Just ignore it again. All right. So from there, what you're going to want to do is take the file that you just downloaded, drag and drop it into WinRAR. Boom. Simple as so. See, it's asking me to pay for something. It's cool. Just simply close the file. I mean, everything else is free from there. So once you've dragged and drop your file into WinRAR, you're going to see your engine sound right here now unravel. It's unpacked. Boom. All this other extra stuff. So 5M resources is what you're going to want to need to drag and drop into your 5M server, which I'll get to in a second. All this other stuff is cool. Um, you don't really need it. Uh, really what you're going to want is just this this resource right here, the 5M resource. And that's why it's good to find 5M ready resources because they just make life so simple. The developer has already put it together for you so you can just drag and drop. Simple as that. Um, all right. And also these readme text are pretty much everything that I'm going over. Uh, it's really good to read those because it teaches you everything. Uh, it teaches you how to properly add it, even if I screw up something right now, uh, which I probably... I don't know. I might. Who knows? We don't know. Uh, but anyway, so uh, what you're going to do is take this take this right here and drag and drop this onto your desktop. And there it goes right there. My desktop is a little weird. But uh, there it goes right here. The 5M resource. See, 5M resource. 5M resource is right there. So what you're going to do, for me, I'm going to copy that. So once you have this onto your desktop, you're going to want to find your... Um, wherever you have your 5M files at. For me, mine is on a hosted server, so I'm going to head over to the hosted server and um, show you the next steps from there. All right, so uh, if the computer screen looks a little weird, it's because I've expanded it and uh, I'm trying to hide my IP address because this is my hosted server and I don't want to uh, have that leaked for you know apparent reasons. But anyway, uh, what you're going to want to do is um, once you, you know download it, your your file, dragged your file over to WinRAR, unpacked that, got that 5M ready file out, you know, drag that onto your desktop or wherever you have it. Um, you're going to want to come over to wherever you have your, um, wherever you have your 5M resources at. Once you find that, you're going to want to open up your resources folder in your server for me, I have a ton of files and stuff in my thing. Some people like organization and all that good stuff, but it's neither here nor there. It's not going to make or break you. I mean, for some people, they're more, I'm a neat freak, but it's file folders, and you can easily search stuff up here in the search resources. But anyway, uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, so what you're going to want to do is the file that you just had, you're going to want to open that up, and you're going to find the actual file that you uh Within that folder, you're going to find the file, the name of the file that you just downloaded. So for me, it's the M158, Hure Yara, whatever you pronounce that. Um, you're going to see all the files within it. What you're going to want to do is take that car sound name or whatever, M158, whatever the name of that file is, and drag and drop it into your resources. For me, 
already have it in there and I'll show you go down here it's alphabetical order right here m158 Hira, however you pronounce that what you're gonna want to do with that file once you have it dragged and dropped into your resources you want to click rename and you want to click copy or you know control C for me I uh, just do the hotkeys but you know you can go in here click rename and then you can right click on that click copy once you got that going for yourself you want to go back to your server.lua. This is where you're going to start your resources. Once you got your server.lua open, again, this might look weird for you. You're going to want to come in here and do start or ensure whatever this, if this says, if all of these starts say ensure instead of start, you're going to put ensure right here. If it says start like mine is, all I did was put start there. Just follow the line of the leader. All right, boom. So you're going to want to type start and then control V or you can do control I mean right click paste and that file as you can see again I'm just gonna show you make sure that these match make sure that these match where's the ends where's the ends make sure these match make sure these match make sure these match all right boom you see that m158 h-u-a-y-r-a m158 h-u-r H-U-A-Y-R-A, -A, all that good stuff, it matches for sure. Um, boom. All right, so once you've done that, you're going to want to control S in the server.cfg. I said server.lua earlier, sorry. Server.cfg, control S to save it, or you can come here to save like that. Boom. Once you get done with that, you're just going to want to close that. Well, you can mem you know, minimize that down or whatever, um, and then get ready for the next step. Now that you have that sound in your server, from there you're going to want to, this is where the fun part comes in, because now you're going to be able to take this sound that you just added into your server. It's basically putting the sound in your server so that your server can read it, so that now you can add the sound to the specific cars that are already installed into your server. Um, it's like coding, you know, connecting the dots. So it says, hey... Um, I got the sound that you want, the car sound that you want. Now tell me what car you want to connect it to. So that's the part that we're about to do right now. All right, so boom. So what, you wanted to go, what you're going to want to do is go to SFX, sound effects. At least I think that's what it means. Click the first four of this in there. And from there, you see this M158HUAYRA. You're going to want everything in front of this period. So period.awc is no, no. We don't want that. We want everything in front of it, and I'm going to show you what I mean. So you're going to want to right-click on that on that first uh, file right there, and you can rewind this video if I'm moving too fast. But what you're going to do again is click, right-click, rename. Again, everything in front of that period is highlighted. The, the Internet already does it for you. The, the computer already does it for you. So from there, once you do that, you're going to click Control-C. Control C. Or again, if you don't know hotkeys, you can do uh, right click copy. Boom. You can now go out of that. Now, so that's the file name of the car sound that you're going to change your, your car file to. All right, so now that you have that, um, that, 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 that car sound copied, you're going to want to now find whatever car you're looking for. So, um, it's going to be good to know, you know, the car sounds that you just added into your server. Say you added a new uh, Hellcat charger wide body or something. Make sure you know where that file is so that you can do what we're about to do. So, for instance, I have a car folder right here where I have a couple of cars and whatnot. Um, for instance, we'll just use this uh, Northern Mods Dodge Demon. Shout out to Northern Mods. They make some phenomenal cars. But what you're going to want to do is go into... Um, once you have, once you found the car that you're looking for, so for instance, this Northern Mod, this NM Dodge Demon, you're going to click in that file. It's going to open up its little files. You're going to want to go to the data of that car. If you don't have the data, just look for the car goes car variations, handles, vehicles. From there, what you're going to want to do is click vehicles within the car file that you're looking for. So it's going to bring up this, this, uh, this all of these codings and stuff don't I know it probably looks crazy because you're like what in the world is going on but I promise it's not that crazy just bear with me 
So once you open up that uh, that vehicle file within the vehicle that you've had, hopefully that makes sense. Again, rewind the stuff. If not, just follow the steps. You can honestly mute me and just follow the steps. But anyway, um, once you do that, you're going to go over to, you're going to look for audio name hash. So you got model name, TXD name, handling, ID, game name, vehicle make name, expression, yada, 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 yada. Audio name hash. There it goes right there. Audio name hash. All right. So once you find the audio name hash, you see Comet 2, which is the current name for that car. What you're going to want to do is take the Comet 2 name, highlight it, and then you're going to want to put Control V or simply paste. And that M158HUAYRA sound is there beside the audio name hash. From there, you're going to want to uh, control S or file save. I'm not gonna save it because I don't wanna change the name of that car, but so I'm gonna control V, control Z and uh, put that back. So once you've done that, make sure this file is saved, exit out of it. All right, and just like that, you have your car sounds and I'm going to let you hear the elephant. Ooh, will you hear that? That is that M158, whatever that noise is, all that good stuff. But yeah, I mean, it's that simple. Uh, like I said, rewind this video as much as you can um, and, you know, do this step with every car sound that you're looking for and you, you'll have some really nice uh, cars in your, uh, in your fleet, in your 5M server. These are also the sounds that you hear in uh, my community. Again, New Heights Roleplay, so you guys can check that out. And uh, if you're looking for a whitelist community to join, uh, check the description down below and uh, let's get into it. Yee yee. I'm out. Skew out, nigga. I'm in here. I've been in that mode grinding. They think that I fell off. I've been on the road trying to get these pounds of gal. Exotic money piling. Run them car, run up the mileage. How the fuck a real street nigga like you have with the collar? Cause I'm silent and too solid. Load on me, I can't pull over. Sticky, it can keep it with me. This gas got a good old. 